Hi everyone, this is Olivia. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting with Ollie. It's St. Patrick's Day today. I know maybe when you watch it, it won't be, but happy St. Patrick's Day anyway. Um, today I made this wreath here, guys. It's a bee wreath with a little gnome that says, be kind. And just a little message to everyone out there. Be kind to everyone. Makes the world go be nicer. Um, competition again, my boyfriend and I are are going to compete with our wreaths. I created this one. Of course, I chose the 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 wreath, uh, the ribbons and all that. So the next wreath I'm going to make is going to be a bee wreath, black and yellow, but his version of it. So keep an uh, eye open for that. And uh, uh, <laughs> a little brain fart, guys. I was saying, if you think my projects are worth the while. Subscribe to my channel and see, uh, check it out, and of course, support me. Uh, notification bell will always alert you when I put out a new video, so always make sure you do that. And of course, the like button and comments. Of course, I want to hear more about you, about your stories and stuff, so we can connect, guys. Uh, take a look and see how I made this, and I hope you enjoy my video. Okay, here are the basic supplies for this type of wreath. I am using a circle frame. Uh, it is a 14 inch. Some rope and of course ribbon and uh, a centerpiece. This, since this is a circle, I want to use a centerpiece. And this, I ordered this through Amazon. There's, it comes with three different uh, shapes and this it's made out of wood. So I based on the colors what I have here on what I'm going to put on the wreath. So I decided to use a black rope and this is a cord a craft cord I got at Hobby Lobby and uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and get started here um, just so you'll know um, I've done if for those who follow me know that I've done a bee wreath using heart shape forms and I'm using the circle form for the first time on, on this bee just to see how it would look on the circle. So I always start off, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to start here and uh, let me take off this tape. I like to tape my ends because uh, if you don't tape your ends, it'll start to unravel on you. So let me just take that tape off since I'm going to glue it down already. So here I'm going to start. It doesn't matter where you start because it's just a circle. So I'm going to add some glue here on this part. And I'm going to fold this over and hold it there till it, it sets. And so I was saying that I'm using the circle frame because uh, I've, I've always used the, the heart ones. And I think someone mentioned in one of the comments... Uh, have you tried using a circle and I did I used the circle frame for a ladybug and so now I decided to do one for the the bee my famous bee and I I know somebody in, in one of the comments mentioned that I am a, the bee queen because I always like to I like the bee a lot I like using my my frames my wreaths with bees on it so I thought it was cute that they she called me a queen bee so uh, in this uh, wrapping of the frame, I'm just wrapping it simply just around the whole thing. I'm not doing no intricate uh, braiding or anything. I'm just going to just wrap it around and around. And I do have this long rope. I I cut it, I, I, I wrap it around my hand about 20 times and then I cut a piece off because it is a big, like a big spool of, of cord. So it's going to take me a while just to get it through all of this back and all around and around. Okay, so I'm just going to do this uh, real basic wrap, like I said. And another thing I need to mention is uh, my boyfriend, he was so excited about his wreath with a hello on it. It's more of a spring wreath. He really wants to make another competition here. So um, we're, I'm going to be doing this wreath. This is my idea. And then, of course, I'll be doing another one with his idea. So it's going to be like another little competition there. So if y'all stay tuned, I will be making another wreath after this one. 
and that one will be his choice of ribbons and this is my my idea so just stay tuned for that okay here we are done with all the wrapping of the rope and like i said i just went around and around looped it all around it on the on the three uh rings and i left one open and that's the one that i'm going to use for ribbons but the first layer is uh going to be this polka dot ribbon and I cut it already to three inches and I dovetailed it so um, I'm going to do the the fold in half and fold back and I always put glue in the center um, as I've been making these this type of wreath uh, I have been changing formats of how I've done it compared to the very very first one with a B uh, on that one, I used more ribbon because I used a 6 inch and folded it in half. So instead of doing a 6 inch, I'm using a 3 inch and that is just saving on ribbon. And of course, how I am actually putting it on here is another way I've also changed on doing it. So as you see here, I am going to come to the very edge. I remember I flipped this back. I'm on the back side of the of this wreath frame and I'm putting it right on the very edge right here and that that uh, clears uh, almost a three inches sticking out and the second row that I'm going to put a ribbon is where I have to work on because um, the six inches folded in half is what I did it and that's uh, supposed to be equal amount sticking out so I need to work on that row to see how many inches it's going to be sticking out so anyways I'm going to be putting these ribbons here and uh, I want to see how many it's going to take uh, I need to write this down because I keep forgetting how many I used so I'm going to I need to write that number down somehow I have I have a little notebook actually a, what do you call it like a a crafter's notebook where I, I actually decorated it and everything but I, I I need to bring that out so I can start writing my notes in there so I hope you all are having a wonderful day guys I know I'm having a beautiful day here in South Texas uh, same temperatures pretty much all the time and we're gonna be in the 90s all today it's gonna be a little bit hot but right now the temperatures are beautiful getting ready for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow so uh, I wonder if y'all are celebrating for that day. I don't know if many people celebrate it. But, and speaking of celebrations, I am going to be having a reunion. My uh, class of 80, I graduated in 83. And uh, it's going to be 40 years already in May. So we are actually going to have a get together and I haven't gotten together with my class of 83 since I graduated. I haven't gone to any reunions. This is going to be my first reunion I actually go to. So let's see how it goes. All right, back to folding this. Remember, you have the pretty side up, fold it in half, and then fold these two back that way. Okay, and then of course in the center, I like to put glue in there just to keep it closed. Turn it upside down because we are on the back side of this so it's turned upside down and then I just let it fall okay how it falls that's how I I glue it down so put your glue after you stick your ribbon in put your glue don't don't do it before because if you you see how I have a little small space to work there and of course overlap the ribbon a little bit so you don't have any open gaps there I'm just overlapping it a little bit okay so once I go all the way around I am going to let you know how many little uh, ribbons I used and I'm going to take my notebook out and write it down so I won't forget again <laughs> okay one more time for in case y'all didn't get that again the pretty side up fold in half and then grab these two little flaps and bring them back like this it'll be like an even 
it'll fold there and then I opened up the middle here put some glue in there okay then I squeeze it under this frame the the circle frame here and place my ribbon in there okay now I'm able to to add some glue in here on the very edge bring this up and press it down to the glue and there you have it guys I'll be back I guess it and let you all know how many of these I actually use all the way around it. all right guys I'm done with the first layer of ribbon and as promised I said I was gonna take out my junk journal so I went ahead and took out my junk journal and I made this about two years ago and and I put it put it away I should keep it out so I can put my stuff uh, in here so this is what I'm going to write here I'm starting off with my ribbon wreath and I do have a 14 inch wreath circle frame and the ribbon the first layer I uh, cut three inches and I used 31 strips so that that way you can see that now I'm going to now do this the ribbon that's going to be my second layer and I cut those to four and a half inches and then if after I finish putting them all I'll see how many strips I used of all in all so that's just for now and uh, notice on my I have a little jean pocket back here that's where I keep my pen so that's my junk journal and like I said I did it a couple of years ago it's I've had it for a while so now let's continue with the second row like I said <clears throat> so I flip this over and this is the ribbon I'm gonna be using it's got the little bees and the little daisies here and uh, this ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby and this one I ordered it online through the craft outlet and they have pretty little uh, ribbon guys I ordered, I went crazy ordered a whole bunch of ribbon the other day so I got lots of pretty ribbon now so what we do remember you turn this over it's on, on the bottom side and then I'm going to put this here and it's wired so the good thing about that you can just fold it over while you go get your glue that'll be stay in place and I'm going to put glue only on half of up to the half of that ribbon okay because I'm when I put it down I'm going to squeeze it over okay because you want that ruffled look and so on this ribbon it happens to have a little bee on it and so I had to kind of work with it to make sure that the B is in the bottom like so and it's able and you're able to see it so I had to I'm probably gonna waste ribbon there and I don't like doing that but so that I can have this B in this bottom section of that so I am alternating it with this this ribbon here the the daisy one so that's what I'm going to do I am just going to like I did with the other one half of that has glue bring it over and then just squeeze it on over okay and that kind of over layers it back here and then once you've got that then you can just add glue to this section okay guys uh, last time I was talking to you about when I was doing the other ribbon I was talking about going to my reunion my high school reunion that's going to be in in May it's going to be 40 year or 40 year reunion guys and like I said I haven't seen anyone from my high school years uh, I know we just all went our separate ways and my childhood friend the one who lived across the street from me we've known each other since we were like four years old way before school well anyways I hadn't seen her since you know we graduated high school and uh, it, it just so happened that when, uh, as you all know, my mom passed away and her birthday was in March. And in honor of her birthday, we went to the restaurant that 
gave her her last meal last year on her birthday. And every time that we would drive by, because it was by her house, every time we would drive by, my mom would say, they are so nice with me. They gave me my last break, my breakfast, my, excuse me, my birthday meal. They, I didn't pay nothing. And, and uh, we thought that was pretty sweet of them to have done that. And we didn't, we never went to that restaurant. Okay. So, uh, because of that, I told my sisters, let's go, you know, to that restaurant and, um, you know, in honor of my mom. So we that's what we did. Okay, we reserved. I went to go reserve a, a, a room. The room that my mom used to go to, there was a big marlin fish. And my brothers told me that that's, that was where she always sat at. And um, the the owner of the restaurant remembered my mom. And she, she even uh, gave us a... A little sitting area for her she put a little bowl on one of the, the chairs that she would always sit on and that was really sweet of her to have done that I think that was really nice I mean that that brought tears to me and my sister would, would both started crying because I was she would always sit in the same table her and my two brothers because they would take her in the wheelchair since it was nearby they would wheel her over to that restaurant since my mom didn't have a car and uh, but they would wheel her over there from the when she broke her hip she wasn't able to walk anymore so that's why but she was walk before that she was walking she would walk to the restaurant but afterwards they would wheel her over there but I thought that was really sweet well anyways what I was talking about was the waitress knew is a cousin of my childhood friend it so happened that my my uh my mom, when she was when she was going, my childhood friend went to the restaurant to visit her cousin, and she recognized my mom. So that's how we were able to make in contact with my childhood friend, and I and I asked her if she's going to go because she doesn't have Facebook. So there's no other way I can contact. So I, her cousin gave me her number, and I talked to her, and hopefully she will be making it there. And because, like I said, I haven't seen her since we graduated high school. So that'd be neat to see her, see how people have changed. I don't know how any of y'all have ever gone to any of your reunions and how it feels to see people you haven't seen. So maybe in the comments y'all can talk to me about what happened when you went to your reunion. Okay guys, I'm going to continue working on this and as I continue work, I'll be back when I'm done with the whole section here. Okay. Okay, here I'm done with all the ribbon on the outside. And as promised, I counted the ribbon and I went ahead and wrote it down in my little journal here. And since I used two types of ribbon, I used 14 of the yellow and 13 of the black. And in total, uh, that is uh, 27. 27 in all to go all the way around the whole circle okay so let me put that aside and now I'm going to put my pen away <clears throat> bring in what I'm going to use for decorating and uh, let me find <clears throat> there was a part of the of the wreath Guys, that I had to double up because that's uh, all the space I had left. So I had to double up on the yellow. So that's, that's I'm going to use that as my top. So that's why I was looking for that. So that's going to be my top of the of the bow of the of the wreath here. So I'm going to use this uh, wooden uh, sign here, and I'm going to glue it down with glue, hot glue. So. <clears throat> I'm going to put glue right here on this area and on the bottom where the feet were. I think that's where it was resting on that. So I'm just going to make sure I am centered and place him down right there. 
and it has some little holes right here that that's the uh, it had a jute rope there as a hanger and I'm going to cover up those holes with this B here and I'm just going to use a kind of like try to cover it as much as possible okay I know some people like to add some uh, that uh, what do you call those things when you cut, make holes in the wall and you use that little that putty thing and then they have to paint over it but I'm just going to use my bee here and I have a lot of those, these little plastic bees that I got on Amazon and there's different sizes so I think that would be a good cover right there anyways for that so I'm just going to hot glue it down okay and disguises that hole this is not too much but this you don't focus on the hole you focus on the bee <laughs> I think that's cute so now the rest of the area I'm going to use um, I'm gonna put first a bow okay I think I'm gonna put a bow here I'm gonna make a, a real quick um, what do you call those uh, bows that you just crisscross ribbon the messy bow and I already cut this ribbon guys and I cut it to six inches and it just depends how big you want your bow to be okay so I'm going to be using this and I got two two and a half inches and then I've got this uh, I believe it's let me double check real quick guys here it is one and a half inch okay ribbon size so all you do, of course, you just crisscross your ribbon here and then making sure I crisscross it the same way. I think I started with this one first and then this one. Crisscross applesauce, people say. <laughs> Alrighty. Crisscross. And then this one. Alright, once you're done with the crisscrossing the ribbon, you're just going to grab, pull uh, down the center. <clears throat> I'm going to use this Chanel stand real quick here. Put it in the center. And that'll, I can uh, tie it all together. Just squeeze it here in the center, guys, and then just tie it in the back. Okay, and it's a little fat. I guess I used a lot of ribbon, but it's okay. <clears throat> all you gotta do is just fluff everything out. to show your ribbon that you've used. And this one turned upside down in there. I need, I need to work on this guy, so I think I added too much ribbon, hold on. Okay, I put too many of these thin ones guys I think I put three of those and I think I'm just gonna lower it down to two instead of three so I'm just gonna redo this real quick guys sorry about that uh, it's supposed to be easy bow you know <laughs> nothing hard about this bow but anyways so here let me just do this real quick and make sure I just add two of these maybe I just let's see what this looks like Okay, yeah, it's a simple bow. I don't, I shouldn't, I don't need to be adding any more than that. So let me just take my pipe cleaner here and tighten it in the back. <clears throat> and then just show the, the ribbons, pull them out so you can see them. I've got this striped and this 
this lacy one I got I like that with the burlap there I got that at Walmart I'm... okay so I think that's a little bit better bow than what I had before the other one was just too fat <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put that one right here and uh, I can cover up the center right there with either a flower or a, a bee I'll just decide what I'm going to do on that so let me just slip the what do you call this chenille stem right through here Let's see if I can I can poke it through should be able to come back on out on your back okay I got that side down now the other side Oh, it shouldn't be that hard to push it through. The Chanel stems usually do push through real quick. Let's see if it's coming. Yeah, there it is. I see it. Okay, I got it, guys. It's just a little tug and pull, and I got it. And uh, I guess I'm going to put the bow about right there. Let me tighten it back here. And I can cut these. Just hold that down. Okay. There we have it. Now it's just a simple uh, decorations here around the, the base of this frame here. Okay, I'm going to start decorating this, guys. This is the fun part. Uh, of the wreath you just all this is just accessories guys you can accessorize with whatever, whatever you have in hand and I like these little daisies you can eat uh, buy the daisies in a packet in Hobby Lobby and uh, or a little bouquets of daisies these come in a packet and of course on this side I'm gonna put some flowers because it is also uh, has yellow in it so I like anything with yellow and I'm just going to hot glue these down I kind of like placed them already where I wanted to have them and then I'm going to add those little pearls and I think they they add the little spots they pick up the little spots on the ribbon that we have here like these that's why I like to add pearls on here so I got this case of this is supposed to be for fishing but I, I use it for all my little knickknacks so I'm just going to be putting pearls here and there different sizes of them <clears throat> so all we're doing here is just placing um, little pearls and uh, flowers here and there kind of like weaving the the pearls around the area to make it look like it's raining down in the on the flowers it's a little eye catchy that's uh, ideas here that I got just to add little pearls here and there and I got different sizes of pearls as you can see So once you put two uh, big ones, then you can go back and fill in with the little ones, the in, in between spaces. And 
And like I said, these little pearls kind of like imitate the polka dots on this ribbon that I have here. And I really like that, how it stands out. And have a little tiny ones, smaller ones here and there. Okay, just one more pearl, and I think just stand. You gotta stand back and look at it and see what catches you, and. Uh, I like to have like a little, like a leading. So I think I need to add maybe just a little one right here. There. Okay. I think that's about it. Pretty much I'm done with this wreath, guys. Um, I need to put a little hanger on the back. And uh, I just like to use the... Right here, I can use uh, this wire, Chanel wire. Okay, I just weaved it in there and I'm just going to wrap this around and that will be a little hook and you could use a uh, jute rope, whatever, and that's gonna be my little holder. So there you have it, it's my wreath, guys. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this wreath here. Um, my be kind <laughs> a little message for everyone out there be kind and be nice to everyone and i hope you enjoy my craft have a nice day